Well, it says that I'm live, so we'll, uh, we'll see in a moment if that's true. Just going to type hi, everyone, in the chat and say we're starting. Um, you can give me one second here to check a couple things. I think everything's working well so we'll uh we'll get this party started so if you are new here welcome to this uh sunday evening for me live geoguessr game slash english lesson it's a little bit of both um i know there's a bunch of people in the chat already i was saying hi to yaroslav and uh, mode eggs is here maria c is here sita is here dario is here unsol is here federico is here as well so many familiar faces. Good to see all of you. I see the chat flying by on the screen. It should be up to date now. Um, I see a uh, bunch of people saying good evening. George Hunter is here. Hi, George Hunter uh, and everyone else. So what are we going to do? We are going to play GeoGuessr. We are going to try and guess what country we are in. While we are doing that, I'm going to try and teach you some English. Uh, thanks for becoming a subscriber, Astrid. Welcome. To the channel so what do we have here we have a truck in front of us we would call this a transport truck in english um, this is the tractor this is the trailer we sometimes call these transport trucks we sometimes call them tractor trailers this is a tinker um, it's a nice red truck i think there's like a dog on the side spraying water or something certainly interesting and you can see there's a ladder on the back so learning a bit of english here but let's go Take a look at this sign. Let's see here. Um, Burke is saying, I liked chat box on the left. I think the chat box has always been on the right, but maybe it got changed. So I can't read this, but this is actually familiar to me. And I think I know where we are. There's a little bit of graffiti on the sign. Notice it says 500 meters. So it's a country that uses the metric system. Uh, but I think... I think I already know where we are, but uh, I'll let you guys have a look around. Ooh, let's have a look at this truck here for a sec. So this truck has kind of a big waste bin on the back or a dumpster. So this is a type of garbage truck. Uh, in our big cities, even at our school, we have uh, big garbage dumpsters or recycling dumpsters behind. Um, hey, Federico is a member of the channel. Thanks, Federico, for becoming a member. Uh, let's see here. George Hunter says, Fisher makes me think Germany. Sarah says, the video is really good and great. Yeah, I should double check that for a sec. Give me a moment just to do an audio check. I have the delay set to be a lot less than I normally do for a live stream. So you should be hearing me within seconds. Um, of me saying something. So let's see here. Maybe this truck will give us a hint. No, nope, there's nothing on the side. Again, these are guardrails along the highway. Uh, when you go along a highway, you'll see guardrails. Hey, Juliana, thank you so much for becoming a subscriber. We have light poles here. Uh, let's see here. Dual script on signs, Balkans. George Hunter, I think you're in the right the right general area. I actually know where this is already. Um, I recognized one of the cities on the sign. I'm assuming we're in that country. So here up ahead, we have an overpass. This is called an overpass. By the way, we're on a four lane or a two lane highway, sorry. Uh, and this is an on-ramp. So when you get on a highway, you go on an on-ramp. And up ahead, there's probably an off-ramp coming up. Let's go forward a bit. I'm eager to guess um, where this is. Cyrus Lee says Austria. Venetia says hi everyone. Hi Venetius. Good to see you. Bulgaria and Serbia. I don't I think you guys are in the right general area. We have a field of corn here, I think. Um, but I actually think it is. I think it's Bosnia, Herzegovina. That is my guess. I think we should guess that. So Maria C says Bosnia. Yeah, I think that's where we are. 
Um, George Hunter says Serbia, Bosnia, or Montenegro. So I think we are in Bosnia. Let's let's guess that. Let's uh, let's test my map abilities to find Bosnia, and let's guess that. Um, Eduardo's here. Have you been playing? We this is our first country, Eduardo. I'm gonna guess this. Oh oh, it was Serbia. I was so sure that it was Bosnia Herzegovina. Sorry, people. A few of you did say Serbia. I know George Hunter was saying Serbia or Bosnia. Oh well, sometimes you get them wrong, right? Uh, let's see here. Um, um, the lane that was added to the main road was an on ramp. That's what we call that Burkay. It's an on ramp. Um, so we have some recycle bins. We have a little house out in the country. We have some water in the ditch. There is a cow out in the pasture. And in the distance, you can see this house has solar panels on the roof. Um, AABM says hi from North Macedonia. Hi, AABM. And Jar George Hunter says the Balkans are so multi ethnic it can be confusing. Yes. Lots of, um, lots of history in those areas of the world. Canada is a relatively young country. Uh, in comparison. Venetius is guessing Austria. We're definitely not in North America. I think we are somewhere in Europe. That would be my guess. Eduardo says Netherlands. I think we have a sign up here. Let me see if I can get in a position. Oh, the sign doesn't have anything on it. Let's try to look at this sign here. So Kirk Dyke, I think we're in the Netherlands. Westbrook. These are all very much Dutch sounding to me. And the houses look like my parents came from Holland and they actually grew up. My dad grew up in a house like this. Um, Modag says, why do British people call the dumpster a skip? I don't know. It's a good question. I, I'm always wondering why there are so many different words uh, for different things. Um, not that you're interested, but this machine is called a hay tetter. It's for spreading the hay out in the field after you cut it. And we have some uh, hay bales here that are wrapped up. And I would say this is more of a canal than a ditch. Like that's a pretty sizable uh, ditch. Netherlands for sure or Northern Belgium says George. So I'm eager to guess a lot of them early. I wanna break our streak at some point. So I was hoping we would have got it. So in the chat, let me know if you think this is Netherlands. I'm ready to click guess at any moment. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'll welcome Du Zhao as a new subscriber. Good to have you here. Brent is here in the chat as well. Hi, Brent from American English with this guy. Um, I have a Tim Hortons one hour from my house. I want to go for, to breakfast there tomorrow. Yeah, they're spreading out those. Um, Modag says, was that a willow tree? I think, yes, let's drive back and look at it. It's early spring in this. This would definitely be a willow tree of some kind, a weeping willow or another type of willow. Okay, I'm gonna guess Netherlands, here we go. We got it, we got our first one. First one down, your streak is now at one country. So we got one country and we have 18 more to go to break our streak. Um, Let's see where we go next. Yeah, you know, I like it when we're in a city and this is not a city. I feel like if you looked here, it's like we're on the planet Mars. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, calling dumpster skips comes from an old Norse meaning basket. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Unsol gives me the thumbs up and a smiley. Awesome. So I'm driving down this road and slowly we are getting nowhere. <laughs> We're slowly getting nowhere. Hey, AABM, thanks for being becoming a subscriber. That's awesome of you. Um, so we went from a dirt road to what looks like a bit of a paved road. Burkay says it's Mars ground. Mode Egg says a barren piece of land. Yes. And Yaroslav says in the middle of nowhere. Maria says 18 left to guess. 
and Unsel thinks we're in the Sahara. Well, there is some kind of bus. Maybe we can get close to this bus and read the back of it. Oh, nope, that doesn't work in GeoGuessr. So we can see the bus from this road, but if we try to drive down that road, the bus disappears. So this is what we can do. Cooper Betty. Oh, we're in Australia. I think we're in that spot in Australia where a lot of people live underground. I watched a show about this, about a, a place where people live underground because they used to mine stuff. So I think we're in Australia. See, underground homes. Yep, yeah, we're in Australia, everybody. It's a nice little sandwich board here that says you can buy fuel or tires. We don't spell tires this way in Canada. We use an I instead of a Y. But uh, yeah, we're in, uh, we're in Australia. So um, I'm going to guess it. If that's okay with everybody. I was really certain about that one because I had just watched a show um, a little while ago about the place where you can live underground. It was interesting <laughs> for sure. I think it's very warm there as well. Okay, let's get to our next country. Um, Venetia said Australia for sure, yes. Um, and then I thought this was one of the African countries, says Briquet. Payment says, good day, Bob the Great. Let's hit the road with music. And then Carvalho says, at what time did you play to Sita? Oh, talking to Sita, cool. Okay. Uh, this truck looks like it was in an accident, but I think it's just the image is uh, kind of messed up. But anyway, there's nothing to read on this truck. Oh, wait, we can see a little bit of that hat. That's all we've got. I think there might be a sign down here though. Um, guy sitting here on his motorcycle. He's got a nice wide brimmed hat on. A wide brim hat. So a ball cap has a brim on the front or a bill. Um, this hat is a wide brimmed hat. Kind of handy for keeping the sun off of your face. Okay, so we are somewhere maybe Cambodia, maybe Thailand, in that area of the world, I think. Let's see if we can get closer to this sign. Oop, I went a little too far. I think maybe this is as close as we're going to get. So I can't read this. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, Talk Italian with Arone is here. Hi, Talk Italian with Arone. Good that you're here too. Uh, hello there. Just a quick hi to everyone. It's 1 a.m. in Italy. Yes. Someone was asking if I could do this at a different time, but um, until summer starts, I still have a couple more weeks of work. I'm, I'm just going to kind of do this on Sunday nights and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. George Hunter says Thai or Cambodian text on the sign. Um, Cyrus, Cyrus says Nepal. Um, Amina says Thailand. I think we can guess Thailand, can't we? I think we could guess that. Muhammad says somewhere in Asia. So let's go and guess Thailand. Let's see what that gets us. We got it. We got three in a row. I feel like whenever it's um, this area of the world, things do look rather similar. A lot of very green, tall trees. Uh, Brent says, I'll rub it in a bit. Summer started for me on Tuesday. Yes, I have a ways to go, Brent. But what, when do you start school in the fall, though, Brent? Do you start in August? Because we don't start till the day after Labor Day. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think my desire to start in a city is being ignored. <laughs> I think this is a cemetery. You can see tombstones. Um, I think it's some kind of cemetery. That's what I would guess that is. Uh, let's see if we can go and see one of these signs here. So maybe someone can help me with that. Give me a guess about where that is. So a little bit of a hint if you understand the script. Um, while you're doing that, let me just check something for a second here. Yes, I think everything 
We just wanted to check to make sure things were working right. We look to the horizon. This is the horizon. I don't see anything. There might be a little town over there. Uh, maybe there's something this way. No, I don't think... I don't think we're going to get a lot of hints here, everybody. Um, Ukraine or Russia. C Cyrus says Soviet Union countries. Um, Semra says Asia. Russia says Unsel. Russia or Ukraine says George Hunter. Um, Ukraine or Belarus. George Hunter says the terrain reminds me of northern Ukraine. We could be there. I think we'd be taking a guess. Oh. Got a gentleman driving his tractor. My guess is that this tractor is the brand is probably what we would call Belarus or Belarus. I wonder if that's what kind it is. We used to have tractors from Belarus in Canada a long time ago. They were a good tractor. Farmers like them. I'm going to guess that we're in... Oh, this is a tricky one. Should I guess Ukraine or Belarus or Russia? Those are my three guesses. Give me some ideas in the chat, everyone, what you think. Maria C. has made an emoji of a very confused face. Maybe I'm making her dizzy by spinning around so much. Belarus, I'm going to have a sip of water. You guys tell me in the chat what I should guess. No one wants to commit. No one wants to tell me what to guess and then get it wrong, maybe. Belarus, Ukraine. So Brent says Belarus. Eduardo says Ukraine. No street picture in Belarus for sure. I don't know. I think Belarus is on the map. Hmm. Let's do Ukraine. I'm going to say Ukraine. Yeah? Oh, uh, I'm worried. Oh, it was Russia. And Unsel just said Russia. So we were close. We were Ukraine. So um, good thing I didn't uh, guess just based on the tractor. <laughs> uh, George Hunter says I'm too indecisive. So George Hunter. Yeah, it's hard to make a decision sometimes, right? Because... Especially when you have a streak, it's hard to decide. Um, just trying to see if this is Canada. I don't think this is Canada. I don't know where this is. You know, we are not having very good luck tonight. We are ending up in the middle of the countryside quite often. Um, with very little hints. This doesn't help me at all. Maybe this will help some of you. Um, I don't even have a lot of uh, English to teach you out here. We would call this a dirt road. Okay, so we have gravel roads and paved roads and dirt roads. Um, Brent says we're always in the boonies. So boonies is another word for the middle of nowhere. I think it's short for the boondocks, right? Is that where that's from originally? Out in the boondocks? I don't even know what boondocks are. But um, Brent says Southeast Asia for sure. It's a tricky one because I don't know what this crop is. It's a mystery crop to me. Um, I actually feel like they look like um, lilies or something. A coat of arms of Thailand on that pillar. That's what George Hunter says. I'm starting to feel like George Hunter is a handy person to have around. Um, Mohammed says, do you have an easier level on this game? This is the easy level when you just have to guess the country. Um, are these banana trees? Yes. Thailand again. Well, let's go look at this sign. So we have an intersection here. We have a stop sign. Um, we have a... Kind of an interesting corner settlement here. The sign here. That might help us. And Maria C says, don't forget our good friend Hungary. Yeah, well, at least we know we're not in Hungary. Um, yeah, those might have been rice crops, right? Just unflooded. Um, so let's see here. Um, George Hunter says, Bob, I flattered. Well, let's guess Thailand and we'll see if, uh, we we'll see if we got it. 
let me uh, let me scroll back and see what some people have been saying. Let's do this. There we go. So we were here. Could very well have been a field of rice. I'm uh, not an expert on rice fields. So I'll have a sip of water. You guys can look at this little store on the corner, Visual Arts Gallery. Um, let's have a look. I think, so we have English on the front of the building. So we have tons with one N, which means it's probably not Canada because we, I think, use tons, T-O-N-N-E-S, as in metric tons. Green Bay, huh, interesting. Are we in Wisconsin? We're not in Wisconsin anymore. Uh, thanks for becoming a subscriber, Verna. It's cool to have you here. Does anyone based on this sign want to guess that we are in the United States? Yeah, Cyrus says Canada. George Hunter says, I found a Thai banknote at work the other week and I live in the UK. That's very cool. <laughs> um, I like mowed eggs. Hold your horses, Maria. It's still too early to start spamming Hungary. Yeah, we haven't been to Hungary yet. We haven't been to Bulgaria yet. Um, we rarely ever go to Canada. Isabel says Latvia. You know, I feel like we are in the United States. Like this is definitely a sign that you would see in the United States. This has United States written all over it. Not literally, but that's a phrase we use in English. When, if I say this has the USA written all over it, it means it's obviously <laughs> The United States. Let's have a look here. We Energies, North Green Bay Road. Yep, we're in the United States. For any of you that would like to visit the United States someday, this is pretty much what it looks like. If you drive far enough, Silver Spring. Or we're not in Maryland, are we? I wonder where we are now. We're definitely in the United States, though. Wait, let's go back here and make sure that this sign is in miles per hour. Good. Yeah, this is, actually, this is, uh, this is where Brent lives. He lives down this road, I think. This is his house over here. <laughs> I don't think we're in Maine, though. But let's guess USA and see uh, what part of it we were in. That's correct. So we were in Milwaukee. So we were over here. By the way, that was not Brent's house. Brent lives over here. I live over here. Brent's actually further north than me. Interesting. Okay, we got two. Yeah, that's Brent's house. Um, okay. Are we in Thailand again? Is that the country of the week this week? Let's have a look here. I, we haven't been to South America yet at all, but I don't think this is South America. Okay, let's get a little closer. See if we can read this. Okay, so I still have not learned my different uh, alphabets of the world. Um, this is the USA. I thought I'd see Brent's picture everywhere in the USA. And then Maria says, yeah, we visited Brent's neighborhood. Yeah, we're probably about 2,000 miles from Brent's place, but it's close. Um, if you ever do go to the United States, though, most cities look the same, similar to Canada. Um, the developed areas of the cities look very similar. Um, so we have a truck. We would call this a maybe a carport or a lean-to when you have a side of a building like that. Um, looks like they have their clothes drying on a clothesline. Sorry, I keep forgetting to teach English. We have a satellite dish, two-story house here. It looks like they have some netting or some to something covering these plants. They must have trouble with maybe insects or something like that. Uh, La Vie de Red says, hi from Belgium. Hi, La Vie de Red. Not La Vie de Rouge. Hmm, interesting. OG says it's South Asia, I guess. Yes, George Hunter. Script looks Hindi, but I might be mistaken. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, these look like, now this looks like rice to me. This looks like a field where you would grow rice. You see how you have it dry and flooded? 
Again, I'm not an expert on rice. Uh, it's been to Thailand. Let's get out of here. Um, definitely Thailand has invested some money in the game. Yeah, the, the tourism uh, division of Thailand must be paying GeoGuessr. Oh, La Vida Red says Red is the first part of my name. Ah, oh, yeah. The script looks kind of like Thai again, but a little different. Yes. Let's see what we can see here. Yep, I don't actually know anybody. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. What is Cyrus? I think Thailand again. Well, let's guess it. I'm in the mood to just play quickly tonight. It's Thailand again. Tonight's country is Thailand. Um, we're not going to bet, but I would say, I would put money on that we're going to see Thailand again at some point. Uh, Amina said Cambodia. I'm glad I didn't I guess that. Casey Chung says it's the rice field. Burma. Could have been Burma. Okay, we are not in Thailand now. Okay, I guarantee you we are not in Thailand. Um, if you look way out here in the field, there's some wrapped hay bales. Um, beautiful blue sky. Let's drive down this road a little bit and see what we can see. It's like a house off to my right, but I'm not sure we're going to see that. George Hunter says, Thailand has replaced Hungary. Yes. So it's a place that makes a lot of hay. Um, there's just a lot of those white wrapped hay bales everywhere. Uh, let's see here. Let's go a little further down. Yeah, there's really... Oh, this is interesting. So we don't do this in Canada anymore. So they've stacked some hay out in the field. This is, you would not see this in Canada anymore. The, the fields are too big and uh, everything's done with really big equipment. I think we're in Europe somewhere. I think Lucas Friedrich is right uh, that it would be a European country that we're in. Payment says Russia. That's possible too, out in the Russian countryside. Um, yeah. Let's keep going. By the way, this is what I meant by round bale. This is a normal round bale, and then they wrap it in white plastic. That's what all those other bales were that we were seeing. Okay, well, let's keep driving. I wouldn't mind seeing more road signs or... Um, a house. Everything's way out in the distance, eh? Uh, let's see here. Unsel says Hungary. <laughs> Tom says Greenland. I think Tom guesses Greenland every week, though. I don't think we've ever been to Greenland. We've been to Denmark. And Greenland's technically part of that. I'm just going to keep driving and then... Maybe we can figure it out. That doesn't help much. There's a person walking along the road. Um, oh, we have a sign up here, though. That might help us a little bit. Let's see what this, uh, what this sign says. Hey, this doesn't help me, but this might help some of you. Ask that guy, says Modex. Um... This, this guy down here, yes. I don't, I don't like to stop and ask for directions. So, um, okay, so we know it says stop. This usually means we're somewhere Euro in Europe or somewhere in maybe even Eastern Europe. Lithuania says Amina. Let's drive down here and see. There's a little more to see down here. Looks like here it's a gas station. But it's not a gas station like I've ever seen. You might be able to get propane there as well or something. Lithuania, Poland, Turkey, Lithuania. So let's see here. Isabel says Turkey. Alex says Lithuania. Ukraine. Yeah. 
don't I don't know. Not very entertaining when Bob just drives around saying, I don't know where we are. So this is some kind of like power transformer station or something. Um Sita and Zetakaya, so there. Poland. Poland. Do should we guess Poland? I think we should guess Poland. I think that might be a good guess. Yeah, George says he's not sure. Let's guess Poland, everybody. Oh, it was Lithuania. Now, someone said that. If I look back, Federico and Alex both said Lithuania. Sorry, I didn't listen to you. Um, Lithuania, I didn't understand what was going on with the old woman walking alone on the highway. Lithuania. Sorry, everyone. Our streak ended at three countries. That's okay. We'll play again. I guessed Poland. So, I mean technically very close together so some of the things might have looked the same let's start again let me just check something for a sec there so some of the things might have looked the same sorry if you just heard me talking twice because i was checking my audio okay we are somewhere where it's probably a lot hotter than canada and we have a guy selling soybeans, animal feed. We have some stuff in bags here. So it's a little bit of a street market. Interesting, the sign has English and another language on it. Uh, let's see here. Drive down this street. We buy, your, buy old batteries. So we're using English as well. Key cutting, phone charging. So it looks like you can uh, kind of like an everything little shop there. We see this place. Oh, this looks a little tastier. So we have fresh fruits and vegetables for sale. Salon cosmetics, phone charging. Okay, let's drive down here, see where we can get to. I think we're like in the market area. This is definitely the market area of this town. Everyone's out selling food. We have people with umbrellas and we have clothing for sale. But I don't know where we are. I think, I do think we're in Africa. Yes. So some motorcycles here. Um, big water tank up on a tower. I bet you the market continues down this street. You can see there's more clothing. This must, there's some mattresses here. Amina says Kenya. We could guess Kenya. Might be a good guess. We have a Coca-Cola truck. Um, so if you needed a, a cold drink of Coca-Cola, there's a whole truck full of it right there. Uh, let's guess... Let's guess Kenya. Let's just do that. So we have a sign here for a church. They have their worship services Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. So it's a country that has Christian churches. Here's a butcher shop if you needed to buy meat. And of course a dog right out in front because he probably gets little treats from that shop all the time, I would guess. Um, let's see here. Some balconies. People are drying their clothes on the balcony on a clothesline. There's a lot of Toyota trucks around too. Let's, um, should we guess Kenya? Is that what you guys want to guess? Let's guess that. Let's see what it says. I think I clicked. There we, oh, we got it. Aha, there we go. Um, I have to still memorize the list of countries in the world that are on GeoGuessr because some countries aren't. I know Kenya is one that is, obviously, because we just got it right. Um, let's do a... Yeah, this looks like Canada. Totally looks like Canada. We rare, By the way, if this isn't Canada, this is what Canada looks like if you go out west. This could be Alaska, though, so we better be careful here. And I can't see that sign. And I could be totally wrong. This could be... Um, 
This could be Norway or Russia for all I know. Let's see here. Federico and Brent are cheering in the chat because we got it right. Okay, where do you guys think we are? Are we in Norway or Finland or Northern Russia or Canada? Or are we in somewhere in the United States? I don't know. I think Eduardo is on the right track. It could be Alaska. Amin says too few trees for Canada. It's certainly quite rocky, but I mean, we do have places in Canada that look like this. Yellowstone. Just some beautiful, like a beautiful clear lake here. Big mountain on the horizon. Maria C says, Kenya is the birthplace of the fastest marathon runners. Yes. Every country produces a different kind of athlete, don't they? Canada produces really good hockey players. Thank you. Resume speed and construction. Apparently, they were constructing something back here. Uh, let's see here. I was really hoping we would end up with some buildings at some point. Or maybe some signs. Sorry I'm going so fast. I know for some of you... Ooh, what do we have here? A small house on the side of the road. Thanks, AAW, for becoming a subscriber. It's good to have you here. I don't know. I don't know. George Hunter says, could also be Lake Baikal in Russia. Possibly, yes. Okay. I'm going to guess Canada. Just let... Or Alaska. Oscar says Alaska. Uh, let's see what this sign... This sign probably says construction ahead. That's what this sign probably says. It's hard to see. Okay. Um, Federico says, if you continue moving forward, we'll end up in another country. Yes. Road construction. Next seven kilometers. Does that say kilometers? Okay, if it says kilometers, then I'm going to guess Canada. I can't really see that very well. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Yeah, I'm just going to guess Canada. Let's do that. Let's guess Canada. We got it. Okay, so we so uh, some people were saying Alaska. So we were very close to Alaska. So that was a good guess as well. Um, but we we got it. We got Canada. By the way, Canada is a big country. I live over here. This is like probably a seven-hour airplane flight for me if I wanted to go there. Um, so it was northern Canada, which is probably why the trees were smaller and there were fewer trees. For sure. Okay, so we have this. There's, this is their front door to their house. And over here, if we look up here, we can see the script that we need to guess. We have a little bit more over here. We also have English as well, the Bamboo Music Office. So if you wanted music lessons, you would come here. Brass, wind, and other instruments. They also repair instruments. So there you go. If you needed to learn how to play something. We have an air conditioner unit here. Japan. Hair salon Otajima, that makes me think we're in Japan. If you needed your haircut, this is called a barber pole, by the way. This is a universal sign for a barber shop. Japan, 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 uh, Japan. I got like six people saying Japan. Let's drive down the road a bit and then guess Japan. We have a, a pop machine here or soda machine or vending machine. They have several names. By the way, in Canada, you cannot buy beer. From a vending machine. You have to go to the beer store uh, or the grocery store. Nor can you buy cigarettes from a vending machine in Canada. It's illegal. You have to be, I think, 19 years old to buy cigarettes in Canada. And, and 19 years old to buy uh, beer. But you can buy Coke. So you see cans of Coke here. 
Could be Japan, really nice country. Maria C says Japan for sure. George Hunter says, I think it's Hungary or Thailand. I'm pretty sure we are in Japan. That would be my guess as we look down each road at this intersection. Let's guess it. Let's, uh, let's, let's see if we can, uh, there we go. So we were in Japan and we were actually, um, so here's Tokyo. We were to the west of Tokyo. There we go. Nice. Nippon says Modags using the original name. Um, let's see here. So this is a nice, this has like a Scandinavian look to it. When I say Scandinavian, I mean like Sweden or Norway uh, or Finland or Denmark. Kind of like a Northern Europe kind of look. So let's, and I could be wrong though, because maybe we're, yeah, maybe we're in the middle of, maybe we're a lot further south than that. A little bing going there, and I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for becoming a subscriber to the channel. That's awesome of you. Um, so yeah, help me out a little bit here, everyone. Someone's drying their towels on the balcony. Uh, we have some information here, but it doesn't help me. Um, La Vida Red says it's always the same country. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. This says, oh, the sign disappeared. It's, I went a little too far. Let's go back. So it's in kilometers. This probably says warning, and then you can see there's road construction ahead. So we have uh, Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland. Some really nice metal work. Um, this fence is, looks like it's made out of metal. It has nice leaves. We would call this metal work. It's kind of a cool thing there. A couple gates here that are open. Balconies on the house. Chimney up here on the house. Artur says Poland for sure. Poland for sure. I number of guesses saying Poland. Let's see if we can read the side of this truck. Nope, he doesn't have a website, but we are having a lot of people say Poland. Let's see if we can read the side of this transport truck that's coming. Uh, let's see if we can get a sense. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of tires on that truck. Okay, should we guess Poland? Let's guess Poland. There we go. We got it. So we got four in a row. I think that's our record for tonight, right? So far, we have a little bit more time to play, but we were in Poland, but we were really far south in Poland, it looks like. Okay, let's go to our next country. There's a pipeline here. So a pipeline is just a really long pipe and it might have uh, oil or natural gas or something going through it coming from way down here I don't know when things are this big and flat and dry I always think we're in Australia for some reason we'll drive down here and see if we can read this sign Bentley's cabin park can't read this port theory so it's in English, and we're in a really flat, dry country. Um, and it's in kilometers and meters. It has a AAA rating. That means it's really, really good. Although the sign is falling apart a little bit, isn't it? Um, South Africa is a good guess as well, because uh, South Africa and Australia can look very similar, in my opinion. And they are driving on the left side of the road. So I'm seeing a lot of guesses for Australia. This is like a really big water tank painted. So it looks like a Coke can. Okay, let's guess Australia. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. So we were in southern Australia, north of Adelaide in Port Fury. Next round. Here we go. Um, 
Oh, by the way, if you're one of the 53 people who are watching and you're wondering what this is, um, this is GeoGuessr. I'm trying to teach English while we play GeoGuessr. Sometimes I forget a little bit. Um, and basically, we end up in the middle of nowhere and then we try to guess what country we're in. And then Bob, the Canadian, that's me. I, I try to teach some English. Um, let's see here. Federico says, where is Lolly Lolly? The problem with these live streams is it's a little late for my European friends. So, it makes it a little challenging. I know some of you are staying up super late. Amin says, Canada. Uh, this looks like Canada. This could be Canada. Like we paint yellow in the middle of our roads, white on the side. Some countries do that a little differently. All of the trees look like typical Canadian trees. There's birch trees and fir trees and pine trees. Um, Venetia says, what time is it in Canada? Where I am in Canada, it's quarter to eight at night. So it's 7.45 p.m. Um, but Canada has four, I think, four time zones. I'm just, I'm the same time zone as Toronto. Unsel says Finland. George Hunter says, fun fact, Adelaide is named after Queen Adelaide, wife of King William VI of Britain. Fourth, sorry, read my Roman numerals wrong there. Um, Canada or USA? You know, I've been clicking on this road for almost a minute and it still looks the same. <laughs> um should we guess that we're in canada it's quite possible we're somewhere else too it really is here why don't you guys here have a look at the trees enjoy the beautiful landscape lucas says it's almost 2 a.m in czech republic it's 1 a.m oh wait there's a sign a couple signs we can't read them. Does that say aidez-vous? Uh, is this French? La source. Okay, now are we in Fran France or are we in Quebec? Help me out here. This is going to be tricky. Oh, we could be in Belgium, right? So, aidez-vous à garder cet endroit propre. Oh, basically, uh, help keep this place clean, basically. I think it's a little roadside stop. Okay, are we going to guess Quebec? Okay, let's guess Quebec. Um, so we have to guess Canada though, because Quebec is a province in Canada. Um, let's go with that. Good, we got it. So we were in like northern Quebec, really far north in Quebec actually. No, hardly anyone lives out here, which is obvious when you noticed we were driving around and seeing nothing, <laughs> seeing nobody. Um, I'm curious though, there might be, um, there's a lot of mining in Northern Quebec, so. Okay, now we are not in Canada. I don't know what crop this is. It's interesting with the flowers on the top. Might be, I don't even know what that is. It's an interesting machine here. Okay. Um, looks like corn up here. This is kind of strange for me because uh, we had the crop I didn't recognize and then this looks like a normal field of corn and a big field of hay and then some strange crop. Maybe it is tobacco. I don't know. I'm not overly familiar with what tobacco looks like. We used to grow a lot of tobacco in uh, a little further west of me but they don't anymore they mostly grow vegetables now the demand for tobacco has gone way down uh, brent says quebec seems to have a vote to leave canada every few years yeah we we love them though uh, we love all of the people from quebec it's good that they have strong feelings about their sovereignty i think they should be uh i have a lot of respect for people that think deeply about politics. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a factory out in the middle of nowhere, which is maybe that's a tobacco uh, processing factory. Let's see if we can get on this road. I actually wanted to go the other way. Let's go this way. 
Mm, I can't go that way. Let's see. OG says tobacco. Maria C says, oh, stock in the CETA. That building had a flag on top. Wait a second. Cyrus says the building had a flag on top. Hey, Bapa Bapa, thank you for becoming uh, a subscriber. That's awesome. The building had a flag on top. If it does have a flag, pretty hard to see. That would be handy, though, wouldn't it? If more people had flags on their buildings, that would be super helpful. Yeah, I can't quite see it. Let's let's see if we can get another view of it. So it looks kind of red. Yes, George, I agree. Okay. Well, we couldn't see the flag, but it looked a little bit red. <laughs> Bye, Maria. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, we're going to go another 10 minutes, everybody, and then we'll wrap this up. So, Amina says, Norway. Do they grow tobacco in Norway? I think they grow tobacco almost everywhere in the world, right? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're going to have to guess because we are not getting a lot of hints on this one. It's beautiful wherever this is, in my opinion. As you know, I like I like barren <laughs> or green landscapes like this are very nice. A lot of farmland. Okay. Um, not a lot to go on. Well, we have a car up here. And we just drove past the car. And it's a basically a generic four-door sedan. So that doesn't help us. Uh, there does look like there is a building up here. So let's go and see what this is. It's probably a barn. Whoa. Yeah, this... See if we can read these signs. Oh, it's not a sign. It's a little, um, I don't know what you would call that. Something you would put a little happy cutout of a kid or something. So we have a fence. They definitely have horses. Oh, Maria says, does out of it mean confuse or something like that? I learned that expression from one of your lessons. So I misinterpreted what you're saying, Maria. When you, if you said, I'm out of here, it means you're leaving. But if you're out of it, it means you're having trouble thinking clearly. Yes. Sorry, I misread your comment. Um, let's see here. So you're not leaving. Good to know, Maria. Because at some point, I think this is some kind of fruit tree. Um, yeah, Bob, the Canadian who speaks English, actually read the comment wrong. Maria made no mistake. When you're out of it, it means like you're tired and having trouble thinking straight. If you say, uh, I'm out for the night or I'm out, it means you're leaving. This is manure. There's animals in this barn pooping and that's where the manure is going. And here's some cows out in the field. This pasture gets eaten by these cows and then eventually it comes out the other end. That's, that's your uh, biology lesson for tonight. Um, hey, we have to guess. Um, I see Switzerland. I want to guess Switzerland too. Let's guess Switzerland. I don't think we've ever been to Switzerland, have we? Yet? Let's guess. See what, if we got it. We got it. Nice. They're like right in the middle of Switzerland, north of Lucerne. Very cool. Hey, we got seven. Uh, let's see here. I'm missing the chat. Um, looks like the middle of Europe, says Tom. Switzerland, very cool. Okay. What do we have here? Well, we're not in the middle of nowhere. I feel like we're on the outskirts of a city, though. We're by a gas station. There's a car wash. Wasbox. Tanken, Wassen mit Korting. Are we in Germany, maybe? So there's three bays. We would call each of these a car wash bay. We would call this whole building a car wash. Um, and it's attached to a gas station. Um, 
Grag Tatsi. Are we in Holland? I'm not always sure about the differences between German and Dutch. Because Makelaars looks Dutch to me. Anna de Graaf is a Dutch name. So I think we're in maybe in the Netherlands. Uh, let's see here. Unive, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a, here's a big hint right here. There's a website right here. So I think we got this one. I think we should guess it quick. Uh, ITSolution.nl. So IT stands for information technology or computers. So this is probably a tech support company, a company that helps people with their computers. Terpstra, these are all Dutch names. So we're definitely in Holland. Let's guess it. Um, I'm trying to find Holland. There we go. Netherlands. There we go. We got eight. We're doing good. <laughs> we're doing good. And now I think we're in Italy. I think we were here before. I think we were here a couple weeks ago. You think we were here a couple weeks ago? I want to see this tractor. Give me a hint. It is an agrifol. Never heard of it before, but, oh, I don't know. This is tricky. Modags, the Netherlands, not Holland. <laughs> yes, the Netherlands, everyone. Bob the Canadian keeps saying Holland. I think it's because that's how everyone I know refers to it, all the uncles and aunts I have who came from Holland. So we have greenhouses here. So they're growing something inside in these greenhouses. We have some mountains in the distance. So that's interesting. Um, uh, Federico, someone explained it a couple weeks ago, but uh, we have to be somewhat silly to be funny, I think. Yes, it, this... GeoGuessr Guesser requires that everyone has a good sense of humor when they're playing, especially if you're playing with me. Yeah, George Hunter, I hate to tell you this, but we, we never know whether we should call it uh, Britain or England or the UK. Um, we generally just say the UK. Like, oh, where'd you go for your holidays? I went to the UK. That's, uh, that seems to be the safe way to refer to it. Alex says, Italy. Here's a hint for us. Viva Aziando. Yeah. Hmm. I don't play this game to offend people, but sometimes I call things by the wrong name. A nice gate here. I still think this looks kind of Italian. I don't know. It's a larger farm here. Some big grain bins. So I would call these grain bins. Um, some people might call them silos. The large concrete structures, we usually call silos in Canada. And then the ones made out of metal, we usually call those grain bins. Spain. Let's see here. We have a car. Mm, I don't know. Should we just guess... Spain or Italy could be Croatia. Yeah, that's now we're just guessing. Sometimes countries look like each other when they're close to each other, don't they? Um, George Hunter, I thought Wales at first, but there's not enough rain. Yeah, we definitely see if we can read this. Now it's a little too blurry. Now let's see here. Get has become a subscriber. Welcome to the channel, Get. Okay, someone help me with that. I still think we're in Italy, but I don't know. Should we guess Italy? Amina keeps saying Spain. Maria C says Italy. Semra says Germany. We gotta guess at some point. Let's just take a chance. Here we go with Italy. We're in Italy. So I was right at the very beginning, then doubted myself for a long time. And then got it. So we have a streak of nine up here in the top corner. You can see a nine. And we are now... Are we in Spain now? 
Maybe. Let's ask this guy. Excuse me, sir. Could you help us? Um, we're not sure what country we're in. And you know what his response is going to be? I don't know either. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> so, sorry, Brett. Was that, was that rude? This is what Canadian and American tourists look like if you see them in your country. They will have sandals on with socks, a camera, a backpack, and then they'll have a confused look on their face. And then, so, let me see over here. This is probably his wife, I think. Um, Vocolo del Tiratio. Are we in Italy again? Maybe we're still in Italy. That could be. Piazza. Yeah, give me, a, give me some ideas in the chat here, everyone. Unsel says France, but it, we wouldn't have piazzas in France. Um, let's go this way. It's definitely a very old European city would be my guess. Here's another sign for you to read. Vietato l'accesso. Yeah, basically, don't go in. <laughs> don't go in, it says. Prince is definitely an American. It, the only difference between an American and Canadian tourist is the Canadian would have a little pin of the Canadian flag on them, probably. That would be my guess. There we go. So we got 10. We got 10, everyone. This is the last one. We're in Korea. Wait, should we do that fast? Yes, let's do it quickly. Um, yes. There we go. We got 11. Speed round. Oh, no. Nope. I do not know. That was fast, by the way, wasn't it? We got Korea pretty quick. Um, I, I say we, but it was kind of me that got it really quickly. <laughs> Um, we are somewhere warm. We are somewhere in Southeast Asia, I think. Oh, this might be a hint for us. So give me a guess here, everybody, in the chat. Um, looks like we have a little, like a little market corner here. Uh, Indonesia, Korea... Oh, we got a heart for Korea. Yes, for sure. Maria C is out of it. That's what that emoji means. India, 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 or Sri Lanka. Oh, should we guess? Let's look at this sign here. Okay, let's guess Sri Lanka. We had Sri Lanka a few weeks ago, and then we didn't guess it. Oops, wrong comment there. Let me get over here. Let's guess Sri Lanka and see was Bangladesh okay we didn't get it so I would have said we're close but not really but uh it was a nice try wasn't it? uh hey everyone it's eight o'clock here so I'm going to wrap this up uh thanks for hanging out I hope you learned a little bit of English um I hope it was fun for you um I do plan to um keep playing on Sunday nights for a couple weeks and then I might switch this to a different day of the week I'm not 100 percent sure yet um, I'll try to find out what's a good time uh, to play based on some of the regulars who are here uh, and then we'll go from there. Anyways, uh, have a good night. It was fun. Um, 